What is research? This is a question that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. The aim of this presentation is an introduction of the beginning researchers or student researchers to the very basic concept of research. So, first of all, um, what is research? Um, in a general sense, research actually is a process of questioning of or reflection on the natural and or social phenomena. The phenomena that we perceive or observe or experience. For example, um, earthquake is a, na is a natural phenomena. So what is an earthquake and why it, does it happen? Why is it that it happens in some areas more than others? These are questions related to the natural phenomena that researchers can find answers to. Similarly, in social, in, uh, similarly what are floods? What causes uh, floods and what are the, uh, uh, the consequences of floods? Um, and similarly, um, uh, several uh, numerous other natural phenomena can be explored through the process of research. In the social context, uh, in the same way, there are social phenomena that we as human beings are curious about. For example, why is it that in certain um, societies there is gender segregation, more gender segregation as compared to others? Why is it that um, some teachers are able to develop good relationship with their students while others find it difficult uh, to have such relationships in, in the educational context. Why is it that some doctors or lawyers have better uh, and more personal relationships with their clients and patients in comparison to others? So these are questions related to social phenomena. Generally, the origin of such question that lead to research in, an, a, in, in a general sense are in our curiosity, our urge as humans to know more a, and or to do things. Now, technically, research is basically a general, uh, a formal process a planned, a systematic, a rigorous, and authentic process of critical inquiry um, that is aimed at finding valid answers to and evidence for or against our research questions and or, or research hypotheses. So if we seek answers to our research questions in a more formal, planned, systematic a rigorous, authentic, and critical way that is based on the scientific method, we will say that that's a more technical research. And similar is the case with um, finding evidence for or against our research hypotheses or, or educated guesses regarding social or natural phenomena. Now, research may be basic when the aim of research is to develop knowledge or scientific or theoretical knowledge. In other words, to add to human knowledge, uh, to the scientific knowledge related to social or natural phenomena. On the other hand, applied research is research that is aimed at, that is basically aimed at finding practical solutions regarding our needs and problems. Now that, that was a brief introduction to the concept of research in general and research in a more specific uh, scientific context. Now generally the process of research begins with our observation or experience. So on a daily basis we as humans have several observations and experiences. And in most cases those observations lead to our reflection or thinking about those observations or those experiences. Um, 
and so our reflection is generally about the causes of those um, uh, those incidents or experiences and also the consequences of it like in other words what could be the causes of something that is happening what could be the consequences of what happens and so these reflections um, when we do these reflections when we give a more formal systematic direction to these reflections these might lead to questioning and hypotheses making or guessing related to social and natural phenomena and to propositions uh, related to uh, the, the natural and social phenomena. Once we have those questions more in a more formal way, we then begin the process of uh, the formal process of investigation or exploring. Now that exploration could again be informal or unstructured. That generally happens when we think about the, our daily lives, our daily life experiences uh, and observations. Um, and, but those could also be more formal. Those investigations could be in the form of more formal or structured um, techniques or methods. So when that happens, we might call that empirical or scientific way of exploring or finding answers to our questions. Um, and so that empirical or scientific way of finding answers to our questions uh, could be termed as the scientific method of research or, or simply the scientific method. So what we can say is that research or formal research whether it's social or natural, follows the scientific method of, of exploring phenomena or finding answer to our questions or testing or hypotheses or educated guesses related to social or natural phenomena. Now, what is the scientific method of exploring um, phenomena? Well, these, this method is based on controlled, systematic, rigorous uh, processes and so we conduct uh, the research process generally in a controlled environment. The process is, is systematic and that actually means that it follows certain, metho certain methods and so the researchers take certain, have certain methodological considerations stepwise following one after the other. And again, this is rigorous, which actually means that the methodological consideration in terms of, for example, the research site selection, in terms of the sample selection, in terms of the data collection and analysis, uh, and in terms of getting to conclusions and implications of our research, we need to be rigorous. We need to um, put in all our effort in terms of making the research process authentic. And then also the research process should be critical, which actually means that the researcher, both in terms of coming up with research questions, in terms of coming up with methodological considerations, in terms of looking at the merits and demerits of the, the, uh, the, the methodological considerations or the methods that they apply, they are critical about it. So they think about the possible weaknesses and strengths of the methodological considerations that they have taken into account while they were, uh, while they were working on their research process. And lastly, the research is basically aimed at the generalization of the research findings and, and the research processes as well. So in order to make the, the research a the scientific way of, of getting knowledge, of exploring social and natural phenomena, or of uh, coming up with solutions to our problems, um, to our practical problems, we need to have the research process we need to make the research process in line with the scientific method. 
where there is there is control there is a systematic way of exploring it the process is rigorous and authentic and it is critical which actually means that the researcher puts in a lot of critical thinking and objectivity into the process of the process and product of the research that they conduct and lastly that generally this is not for all types of research but in most scientific research based on the positivistic philosophy of research generalization is also um, a requirement and and a part of the process and product of the research uh, of the research endeavor